بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از الماس انور آئی ایم اسٹوڈنٹ آف ایم ایس اے ٹیکسٹائل انجینئرنگ ان نیشنل ٹیکسٹائل یونیورسٹی فیصل آباد پاکستان دا ٹاپک آف مائی ٹوڈیز پرزنٹیشن از دی یوز آف ٹیکسٹائلس ان ڈیفینس اینڈ دی فوکس از آن ملٹری کیموفلاج یونیفارم بفور گوئنگ ٹو دی ڈیٹیلس آف ملٹری کیموفلاج فیبرک وی مسٹ نو that what camouflage is and what are the possible <laughs> techniques to camouflage someone or something. Camouflage is a method of hiding. It allows an otherwise visible organism or object to remain unnoticed by blending with its environment. Examples of camouflage include a title set traps and a purple camouflage itself as a leaf. The tiger set trap is the fabric mm-hmm. printed in dark shades and the printing pattern is shown in the picture, the dress, uh, that is the dress of the soldier this pattern is called the tiger the strap and in the second picture natural camouflage of a butterfly is demonstrated the color and shape of the wings of the butterfly resembles with the color and the shape of the leaves of the plants thus making it less visible in the surrounding similarly the color of insects shown in the picture also resembles the color and of branches and leaves of the plant making them <coughs> less visible <coughs> Now here comes the military camouflage. In war, the function of camouflage is very simple. It is used to hide yourself and your equipment from the enemy. People have been using camouflage in some form or another from the beginning of human civilization. In fact, the basic idea of camouflage predates human entirely. It comes from the natural adaptations that let animals blend in with their environments. In the past 100 years, camouflage has played a crucial role in the most countries military operations the theory of camouflage covers the various strategies which are used to achieve this effect here are the pictures of how clothes of uh, soldiers camouflage in the environment military camouflage techniques used by military are hiding in the si- a plain sight that is an instance of visual perception It means when seen through naked eye without using any special instrument like uh, the radar or a thermal imaging etc the soldier is invisible at any instance of visual perception and then comes the disguise and uh, decoy now the explanation of uh, the technique hiding in the plain sight The most basic camouflage is the sort worn by the soldiers on the battlefield. Conventional camouflage clothing has two basic elements that help conceal a person. That is color and pattern. Camouflage material is colored with dull hues that match the predominant colors of the surrounding environment. In jungle warfare, camouflage is typically green and brown to match the forest foliage and dirt. In the desert, military forces use a range of tan colors. Camouflage for snowy climate is colored with whites and grays to complete the concealment soldiers paint their faces with the colors matching the camouflage material camouflage material may have a single color or it may have several similarly colored patches mixed together the reason for using this sort of pattern is that uh, it is visually disruptive the main uh, main lines of the motored camouflage pattern help uh, hide the counter the outline of the body When you look at a piece of mottled camouflage in a matching environment, your brain naturally connects the lines of the colored blotches with the lines of the trees, grounds, leaves and shadows. This affects the way you perceive and recognize a person or object wearing that camouflage. In this picture, the camouflage suit used by the military soldiers is shown. Here it is very clear that how it makes in the surrounding environment. In modern warfare, hiding in individual soldiers is often a secondary importance. Opposing forces use aircraft to seek each other from the air. In order to hide equipment and fortifications from these eyes in the sky, ground forces have to use camouflage on the larger scale which is called disguise. Almost all military equipment is colored in dull green and brown color so it blends with natural foliage. Additionally, soldiers almost always carry camouflage netting and chicken wire which they can throw over military vehicles to conceal them better soldiers are also trained to Im- 
improvised cam uh, camouflage by gathering natural foliage from an area and uh, covering tanks and other vehicles using these natural means uh, light and exit forces in world war 2 camouflage tanks jeeps planes guns manufacturing uh, plants and the entire entire army bases in this picture military camouflage uh, net is shown which is used to hide the equipment from the enemy and it is very clear how it is effective in the environment uh, that matches uh, the color and uh, it is almost invisible from the sky now it comes the decoy military also make extensive use of decoys as a means of camouflage unlike uh, traditional camouflage the purpose of decoys mm -hmm. is not to conceal forces and equipment but to divert the and divert the enemy from their locations in the battle of britain allied forces set up more than 500 false cities bases airfields and shipyards consisting of flimsy structures that resembled actual buildings and military equipment these remarkable dummies built in remote uninhibited areas significantly diminished the damage to actual cities and fortifications by causing the Axis forces to waste their time and resources. Now we will discuss the process of preparing the camouflage fabric which is used to prepare the military uniform. Usually the fabric which is used for preparing military camouflage uh, uniform is woven. The fabric is manufactured on weaving machines that is looms without any special techniques. The weave can be plain, twill, satin, satin or whatever. The weave has no effect over camouflage but it can impart an important role over comfort level and the strength of the fabric. But nothing to do the weave have nothing to do with the camouflage. Major aspects are camouflage patterns, comfort and the durability. When we are going to prepare a camouflage fabric uniform then uh, the things which we must uh, take in mind, keep in mind are the camouflage pattern and the comfort level of the fabric and the durability of the fabric. And uh, the dura durability includes the, uh, that is the strength of the fabric and the wash fastness of the camouflage pattern. The camouflage effect is achieved by printing the fabric according to the requirement. In the following pictures, different camouflage patterns are shown in a forest uh, environment, green and dark brown combination is used. Similarly, in a desert environment, um, sand like uh, color mixed with the white and uh, light brown shades are used and for printing the camouflage fabric. In this picture, uh, uh, different uh, shades and different uh, fabrics are uh, pre printed camouflage printed fabrics are shown uh, which uh, which can be clearly seen and uh, now the process how printing uh, is done the camouflage pattern can be printed on the fabric of uh, required properties using any one of the printing techniques used in the textile wet processing industry like screen printing or roller printing the steps involved in the printing of a camouflage fabric are Choose the desired color, choose the desired pattern, then the printing process and the stitching the printed fabric into garment to prepare a soldier's uniform. Now this uh, slide uh, explains the choice of uh, desired color and pattern. The colors you choose will depend on the type of camouflage that uh, you want. That is whether you want a desert look camouflage or a deep wood camouflage. For a desert look, blend yellow and peach and brown and uh, for a wood camouflage, blend green, yellow and brown and uh, etc. The printing process includes the roller printing and the screen printing. Screen printing involves desizing the printing process, whatever the pr printing process, uh, the following steps are uh, involved that is resizing, bleaching, scouring, dyeing, printing, finishing etc. All of these processes are employed in all textile printing mills. Therefore, the printing process uh, is not an issue in making a camouflage uniform, but the choice of the color in accordance with the environment where one has to camouflage is of the more importance. Now, the last step in the preparation of a uniform of a military camouflage. 
the final step uh, in the manufacturing of uh, military camouflage uniform is the stitching of the fabric into garment according to the required sizes this is the end of the fabric formation or the uniform preparation now i would like to show some pictures of uh, camouflage in the nature here is the hooded grasshopper and uh, gum leaf grasshopper their color resemble resembles the color of the surroundings thus making them less visible similarly here is the rabbit white in color making it less visible in snow and in the second picture there is uh, ibex whose color resembles the color of the stones uh, of the in the surrounding uh, and making it uh, almost invisible here in this picture the bird named tawny frogmouth the color of the, the color and the pattern on its body resembles the color and pattern on the stem of the tree the birds are almost invisible in the demonstrated as demonstrated by the picture well this is the end of my presentation i am really grateful to all of you for your kind attention thank you very much